Howdy friends, and I'm back again. Actually, I've been here all the time. Told you that I was making brownies to take down to April's in another video that you saw. Well, I've got to take a casserole too. They got to have something to eat. So I'm just kind of, you've heard of making do? Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to use what I have and uh, throw together a casserole so I don't have a said recipe. So watch the video and follow along, make you some notes, and you can cook what I'm cooking. Now I've got hamburger meat browning, and you know me, it's always onion and bell pepper in it. They don't like that. So I'm going to put a can of cream of onion soup and a package of um, Lipton's onion soup mix in it for extra flavor, and of course I'll add some onion and garlic powder to it. So that's what I'm going to put in the meat. And then I'm going to add... Uh, some four cheese Hunt's pasta sauce. I'm going to make it kind of like a spaghetti or a, you know, dish with meat in it. So I'm going to add that to it. I've already softened some cream cheese in my OXO. I just love these. And I'm going to put, uh, this has got probably 12 ounces of cream cheese simply because I had used part of a block and I needed to use the rest of it, but that little bit wasn't enough. So normally I wouldn't use but 8 ounces. So 8 ounces of cream cheese, and I've got 16 ounces of sour cream. I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to use, at least half of it, maybe more. Anytime I'm going to layer spaghetti or noodles, I try to put cream cheese and sour cream in it and season that with onion and garlic powder just to add some more flavor to it. And then I'm going to uh, layer that with my meat mixture, and I'm going to add some cheeses between the layer. I've got the Mexican blend, and I've got mild cheddar. So they'll have something that's tasty and good, and I have some hot dog buns that we didn't use for the hot dogs, so I'm going to take them with me and make garlic bread out of them. They make good garlic bread. So we really are making do today, but it's going to be good. So let me get over here and check out my hamburger meat. And when I start to put it all together, I'll show y'all what I'm doing. Okay, I've got my cream cheese in my hot pot that I've drained the noodles out of. And I'm just going to add them on top of it. Stir them until the cream cheese melts. I like to use stuff with a memory. I told y'all one time my Aunt Helen and Uncle Buster went on a vacation, I think to Colorado, I don't know. And she brought me back two of these granite ware serving spoons. And that was probably at least 40 years ago. And I think about her every time I use them. She's the one I was named after. My name is Helen Gay. That's named after Aunt Helen. And it was always special. Okay, I'm just going to get this cream cheese incorporated and get my sour cream in it. I'm going to uh -oh, add some onion and garlic powder and a little bit of salt and pepper because I like the pasta to be flavored too. It, you can make a dish bland by not flavoring everything. So you want seasoning into each part of it. And, uh, then each layer is going to complement the other. Okay, that was my 12 ounces of cream cheese. That's 12 ounces of egg noodles. And I'm going to put half of this sour cream, and I may use the other half. We'll just see how creamy they look. I think that's going to be enough. I'm going to get my onion and garlic powder right quick. And I can see it's time for me to go back to Costco or Sam's. And I'm just going to shake some in. I'm going to tell y'all that's about three or four teaspoons. About a tablespoon of garlic powder. Just season them up. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven at my house and melt the cheese. 
and then I'll haul it down to April's in an insulated bag and it'll be ready to eat when we get there because the kids are already calling and they're hungry. So she's still very weak. That's about a half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning in here just because I can. Some black pepper with my Sir Log Cobb ratchet grinder that I love so much. Love to smell that black pepper grinding. Okay, let me get this finished stirring. Y'all are just going to have to watch what I'm doing because sometimes my granddaughter will call and she's writing a paper. She's in college now. I did this for April too. I ought to have a degree, but I don't. And then I need a sentence. Well, just off the cuff, I can just spit it out, but I don't remember what I just said. So they've learned they better write real fast when I start talking. Same thing with this. Y'all better write real fast because I'm just doing it as I go along. Now, I do know that that was 12 ounces of noodles, 12 ounces of sour cream, about 8 ounces, I mean 12 ounces of cream cheese. Uh, 8 ounces or so of sour cream, about a half to a teaspoon of salt, some black pepper, tablespoon of garlic powder, and that might have been two tablespoons of onion powder. So now I'm ready to uh, bring my pan over here, and I don't have to pound this because it's a throwaway, but just so it'll dish out easier, I did put some Pam in it, or baking spray, whatever you want to call it. Got my cheese here. Let me bring my skillet over. Make it easier to do my layering. Okay, I'm just going to start with a little bit of the meat mixture in the bottom. Then I'll put some, uh, I always put cheese between every layer because we like a lot of cheese. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle just a little of this Mexican blend. Okay, I'm just going to sprinkle some on. Just enough to know I put some cheese in. Then some noodles, and we want to just spread them around. And I could just as easily here have used spaghetti, but I had egg noodles this time, so I used them. I'm going to do a little bit more cheese. This will be real gooey when we start dishing it out. Oh my goodness, it's going to be good. Now, I'm just going to top that with the rest of the noodles. And some cheese and put it in the oven to melt. put just a little bit of just plain spaghetti sauce on the top just so that'll have some sauce on it and not uh, and I really plan to make her some casseroles like this just to uh, have in her freezer to pull out if she needs it some of them may be ones that you've seen me cook before some of them may not if y'all would like for me just to film it anyway, well, let me know and I will. But a lot of stuff that are some of my regulars, I filmed when I first started my channel. And that's numbers and numbers and numbers back down the line. I'm going to put this in the oven and let the cheese all melt. And I'll show y'all what it looks like when it's finished. I'm not plating it. I'm just going to show you a picture. So um, you can see what it looks like. I'm going to cover it in foil, put it in an insulated bag, and I'm heading south to April's house. Okay, y'all, I set it on a cookie sheet to make it easier to handle. Here it is, and we're fixing to uh, 
get everything in the car and head down there. To hey y'all, I'm fixing to, I sprayed my tin foil with a kitchen spray where the cheese won't stick to it. And I'm going to get it on the hot casserole and we're fixing to go down there and feed that little hungry bunch. Y'all have a blessed day and come right back here in a day or two and we'll be cooking something else that's good. The good Lord bless you.